that you've given me. I won't ask any questions because I know we're at the end uh, and um, I will be happy to yield back. Thank you so very much. The gentlewoman <clears throat> yields. The gentlewoman from Georgia, Ms. Green, is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd like to uh, take just a minute to point out um, that our colleague on our committee talked about how there needs to be a pathway for citizenship while also showing a picture of all the citizens that are the people that just became citizens in her district. Clearly there is a legal path for citizenship and there has been for a very long time in the United States of America. The problem is, is that our policies and our laws are, are being uh, completely abused. And in the current administration, we have a policy of open borders that is causing uh, unbelievable crime. Over 300 Americans killed every single day, um, as well as uh, American citizens because of illegal crimes. Um, Ms. Tambunga, I want to uh, acknowledge what you said. You said something very powerful. You're tired of the bickering and you want us to fix it. And I want to acknowledge your words. And as one mother to another, I completely agree with you. And I also want to express my deepest sympathies for your loss. Um, what was your daughter's name? Amelia Brooke. Amelia, and she was seven years old. She's seven years old. Seven years old. And you lost your mother as well in this accident. Um, and my understanding uh, from your testimony is that your, your mother and your beautiful uh, little angel were killed uh, when they're, uh, in a human trafficking, uh, basically, illegal operation. Correct. Is that correct? Um, I'm very sorry. And, and do you believe that your mother and your daughter would be alive today if we had secure borders? I do believe that. Let me note that. This could happen to anyone, and this literally happened when they were two minutes away from home. One stoplight away from my house. And to go on, Ms. Lee, you said we'll speak about facts. The fact is that my daughter and my mother are six feet under. The fact is that when I want to sing my daughter her special bedtime song, I have to go to the cemetery. The fact is that a few years ago, two doors down from my dad's house, two Honduran immigrants shot, executed a Nozona citizen in his own home. That's a fact. That's a fact I urge you to look into as well because this isn't just one incident. This is multiple incidences over a long period of time now. Another fact is that only one trooper was able to get to us. One trooper working a whole stretch of I-10. People from Eastland, policemen from Eastland were supposed to be helping. Eastland are hours away. The fact is we don't have adequate training and we don't have adequate funding for our policemen either. Those are the facts that I'd like you to focus on. Thank you, Ms. Tambunga, and, and you're right. We should focus on those facts. Uh, you're a, are you a U.S. taxpayer, correct? I sure am, since I was 16 years old. So your hard-earned tax dollars that you've worked for your entire life and paid to the federal government, uh, do you feel that your tax dollars, as well as American citizens' tax dollars, should go for the safety, protection, and defense of not only our U.S. border, but your family, your mother and your daughter, they should have protected them as well. Is that correct? Absolutely. And to add to the fact um, speaking for my father, he served 13 years in the Marine Corps, and this is how he's repaid. Think of that, too. We, I thank your father. We thank your father uh, for his service to our country. So your father defended the United States of America's national security interest, and, and now your mother and your seven-year-old daughter, as you stated, are, are six feet under. Right. Uh, because of the failures of the federal government in, in protecting your family, protecting your father's family. Um, I'm so sorry. That is, that is an unspeakable failure 
uh, this is something that, that you should never have endured. You shouldn't suffer this every single day, as I'm sure you do. This isn't anything your father should suffer every single day. It's a failure of the federal government. It's a failure of the administration. Um, it shouldn't matter what political party it is. The, the job of the federal government um, is to use your hard-earned tax dollars, as you stated, that you've been earning and paying since you were 16, uh, should be completely for the defense of our nation and the protection of its citizen. Thank you, Ms. Yeah. Tambunga. I appreciate you being here today. Thank you for your testimony. Again, I'm very sorry for your tragic loss. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. The gentlewoman yields. The gentleman from Oklahoma, Mr. Brasheen, is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. 